Okay, YouTube world. Make sure I get this thing situated right. I have a 2010 Nissan Armada. And I got a fuel pump that's starting to go on it. I've been having problems with it starting when it sits for a while. Uh, the pressure bleeds off on the system. And, uh, God, my kid's messy. Jeez. Anyways, <clears throat> the system was bleeding off, so I'd have to do the whole key on, key off, key on for about three or four times just to prime the system again to get it started. And it started hesitating here recently under under load, so kind of a telltale the uh, pump's getting weak. And this is contributed by, and maybe sexist, but usually by females because they do not like filling the tanks up when it gets to a quarter. They have to run it until that little light comes on, which is inherently bad for the pumps because they use the fuel to keep them cool. So, tip, tank gets to a quarter, Go fill it back up. Just good practice anyways. All right. Uh, I'm missing one of my crescent wrenches. There it is. I like this one better anyways. So first thing you want to do is disconnect the negative lead on your battery. It's a 10 millimeter. I'm just going to use a crescent wrench because it's what I've got. Well, easier said than done. Booyah, get that dude tucked out of the way. You're messing with gas, you really don't want sparks or anything like that. So, <clears throat> tool one. Next thing we'll be putting in, we're putting in a Delphi. Sadly, this is the second pump. The first one I bought didn't work at all. Like, what a bunch of crap. And then I sent it back. Amazon sent me this in like a day and a half. They were good about the return on it. So Delphi is supposed to be a good brand, but hmm, we'll see. All right, so I've cheated. When I first went to replace this thing, I was going to drop the tank. And then I was looking up underneath, and I saw this little panel above the tank. So move everything back. Um, is easier... If you don't care about cutting your carpet, which I don't give a crap because it's underneath the seat, there's a panel right there. Um, and if you want to get this thing out of the way so you have a little more flexibility with your carpet, that pops out. There is a handle right here. Pick up. Which way was it? Oh yeah, forward. So move that dude forward. And then, just pop these out. There. <clears throat> what that'll do, is that will give you some flexibility to move this carpet. So you can pull that one back and maybe somehow tuck it in such a way so it's not in your way but that nothing cooperates when you're on video oh it's creepy all right let's pull that one back and just throw it underneath of here okay a small screwdriver i thought this was so cool to have an access panel not a lot of vehicles have these fortunately past few I've had do. Well, I'm not going to need this for a while, so I'm going to stick that right there. Okay. So, clockwise. These little clips. Pop. Comes out. Next thing you'll need to do is press this clip down. Push that back. Um, now, relieving fuel, it's going to be under pressure still. So what I do is just get me a nice rag around this thing. And what I'm going to disconnect is this guy. Let's get these two clips here. You just push those in. You 
again easier said than done might need a small screwdriver to help you out assist in the unclipping of now come on Well, so I don't want to let go. Which is good. It is a fuel line. You just don't want... Alright, it's unclipped. Now, take our rag. Gently try to start relieving. Well, as you can see, not much pressure. And this has been sitting overnight, so... Whatever the little valve is that keeps the pressure in the lines is just not working very well. And the pump's just not priming well either one key when the key's on I actually turned the key on earlier and off and that just shows you how much it primed it didn't prime much at all because when I first took this off a lot of gas came blasting out of that so it is having problems anyways I would suggest if yours is real dirty maybe get an air compressor or even blast it with a hose it's okay to get wet there's a seal here so just clean it down real well you don't want debris falling in your tank when you're trying to do this um, next tool if I do recall oops, I guess it's this one I bought these tools over AutoZone they do make things easier so we'll put that dude on there it pops forward so it unclips it and then you kind of walk it back here all right just in case there's fuel in there because I believe that's the return line if there is one I'm not even sure so it pops that out this one's always a pain in the ass to keep out of the way but you just got to make it work okay you'll need this guy right here because it does not come on the other pump assembly so do not lose it your little clip retain that little guy Sit right there. now judging by this ring on top Nissan's made a tool and I could probably make one but I don't want to there's three points here I would assume that it sets on those points probably has some little I don't know dropping design to it you could probably just take it and wrench the ring right off I don't have the tool I don't want to take the time to do that right now, so the old hammer and screwdriver. And this might take you some time. I've had mine off a few times, so. Sorry if the camera's flexing around. Putting it back on is a little faster because you can actually go against these little stops here. This way, they're just ramps. I don't remember what. A lot of people are probably going to frown on this, but this is how I took it off last time. I didn't have really an issue. Just a little difficult. Take your time with it. We're getting there. Ooh, snap. Okay. So the ring has popped. Now, <clears throat> this ring's kind of a pain in the rear. You can try to take the pump out and leave the ring on if you want. I personally just get it the heck out of the way. So, I come over the top of that one. 
I'm like a little jigsaw puzzle. Okay. So now the next part. Make sure there's no debris in the way. Gotta get this dude out. And it's full of gas, so you can tip it as much as you can. Whoa. Yeah, that wasn't the best idea. So there's the fuel pump assembly. Now, on the new seal, <clears throat> move that dude. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe the surface down. 